Hello, my loves. I'm Laurel, and welcome to Laurel's motherfucking moon in this bitch. Join me as I read you your life, baby. Thank you to everyone who's liked, shared, commented, subscribed to my channel. Y'all know I appreciate each and every single one of y'all motherfuckers. Yes, I do. If you need to get a personal read from me, make sure that you hit that description box down below. Check out my website, laurelsmoon.com, for any of the magical purposes and deviation workings and things of that nature, baby. So, let's get the daily vibe for the 6th through the 7th. Okay. Spirit, you are welcome into this reading. A sage for the gods. Okay. So, let's see what's going down for my lovely water signs. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We're going to see what the overall energy is. Here we go. Day to day, we're going to watch that shit move. Okay. To bigger and better things, baby. So here we go. Water signs. I got the nine of cup energy here. Overall, I'm feeling like your happiness and your gratitude is of your own interest right now. Okay. Nine of cups energy also. Queen of cups. So I feel like your emotional happiness, your stability is <laughs> definitely something you'll be analyzing. Okay, you could be dealing with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. But I'm definitely feeling here with the Six of Wands. There could be someone who's afraid to see the happiness. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, energy. Somebody is afraid that this situation won't start. Or there could be someone who's afraid of a restart happening, even though there's no offers here. Ace of Pentacles, King of Wands, Five of Swords. So... I feel like someone is definitely dealing with some regrets, okay, or some past regrets. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, it could be that there's some offer that's either turned down or someone wasn't just trying to offer some shit here. It could have been money, financial, whatever the case may be, honey. But I'm definitely feeling like for some of you guys, it could be a message or going back and forth with you and this person in your message. Page of Pentacles, a lot of Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn here, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, okay, also Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So, I feel like you already know the truth about this situation. You could be feeling like you're hanging on the edge, waiting to find out the solution, okay? For some of you all, you could just be knowing or in the knowing towards how this person is hanging around you. Like I said in the other videos, you know, it's been a lot of spying. People have been really watching you, okay? And you know they have. So, this is what ties in with that. Somebody who's hanging around that you already know the mystery to them hanging around is what I'm seeing here, Water Signs. Also, with the Seven of Wands, I'm definitely feeling like there could be some difficulty or somebody has some struggles with guarding themselves. Okay, you could be feeling like you're getting ready to let go of this heavy load with the Ten of Wands energy here and also with the Seven of Wands. So I feel like there's someone who's definitely guarded. They could be in resistance to a new start. All right, some of you all could have just canceled this motherfucker out anyway. Whoever this could be, could be possible Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. Knight of Wands coming in reverse, not really taking action towards this situation. Okay, I feel like you guys are in your independence anyway with the Knight of Pentacles and the Sun energy. So both of those coming together, honey, you are in clarity and in a peace of mind, being away from old situations that cause a lot of turmoil and a lot of conflict. All right. I feel like um, you're definitely wanting to build with this Emperor energy. Could be dealing with someone older as well. Well, this emperor energy here, I feel like there's a lot of structured um, things you're trying to get together. Like I said, it could be someone older as well that you're dealing with. But I feel this is you because this is right on top of the nine of pentacles once again. And I'm also seeing here a lot of you all aren't taking any losses. All right. Two of cup energy coming in reverse. Also strength. So I feel like a lot of you guys are gaining the strength to leave away from this connection with the two of cups. Also with the strength energy. You're seeing it more and more every motherfucking day, okay? So, two of cups, strength, energy, getting your confidence back. Could have been a connection that had you a little, um, you know, bewildered towards um, a unionship or your own, your own realities, okay? Ten of cup energy here. I feel like someone is really thinking about their emotions with the family situation. Could be uh, children involved as well, but I'm feeling with the queen of wands, someone is really trying to analyze what they want in a family, okay? You could be trying to bring structural energy into your world with that will of fortune energy here, darling. I feel like a lot of you guys are going to be closing cycles out 
and you're going to be concentrating on your happiness. Simple as that. Some of you all could have been dealing with someone who had a third party build up in the air, or you could be dealing with two other people as well, water signs. But I'm definitely seeing here uh, someone is letting go of a third party situation that brought a lot of toxicity uh, with the devil energy. So day to day, I feel like you're letting go of this gradually. And also with the page of swords, like I said, someone could be spying on you to be trying to figure out if you're having sex elsewhere. But I'm definitely seeing here someone is calling their shots. All right. Uh, if Cancer Pisces Scorpio might want to make a move, but it looks to me like someone could stop them in mid tracks. Okay, what a sign. So, bottom of the deck is the Eight of Cups and also the Chariot energy. So, I feel like you're dropping your guard down, you're pushing forward and moving on anyway. Okay, you're going to be moving forward into something new with this Chariot. Could be dealing with the Sagittarius as well, but I feel like you guys just want to cut off this old lingering energy that doesn't bring you happiness. So, let's see about possible outcomes, darlings. Here we go. For my water signs, for the 6th through the 7th, possible outcomes. You got the Wheel of Fortune coming out. So, a lot of you have destiny coming your way. You could have stopped a cycle, okay? It's some bullshit that you cut out, all right? Destiny is coming towards you. Could be some money opportunities as well with the Wheel of Fortune, I'm also feeling like a lot of you all feel restricted or limited to where it is you can go or what waters you can step into. Okay. Some of y'all could be dealing with someone who wants to be that Captain save Oh, y'all got this card yesterday. Also with the King of Cups, I'm seeing someone wants to empty out their emotions. They're wanting to let go of a struggle with the Five of Wands. Okay. The struggle is not going to continue anymore. So water signs. I feel like you could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I'm definitely feeling like there's some new changes that's getting ready to come about. Okay, Nine of Cups energy here once again. So I do feel like, like I said, new changes with the Wheel of Fortune, Destiny, your wish and fulfillment coming true. It could be because you left some old bullshit behind or somebody that you knew wasn't delivering the emotional goods to you. Okay, at for your better judgment. Also with the um, Knight of Swords, I feel like you're using your judgment some of you all could be coming in pretty angry or you could have someone in your environment. Uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius here. Um, I feel like they're coming in angry. They want to send you a message of some sort. Eight of Wands communication. Okay. Also could be someone um, that you're having to work on a situation or someone is definitely working here. You got the Queen of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. So I'm seeing here, I mean the Eight of Pentacles, I'm sorry. And I'm seeing here with a lot of these... Um, a lot of these pentacles, your practicalities are what you're taking care of on a daily basis. But if this person is coming in pretty angry, you're going to be pushing it forward. Okay. You got the six of swords. You ain't even trying to hear the bullshit from anybody that's coming your way is definitely what I'm seeing here. Water signs. A lot of you guys, this person could, when they come around, knock you off balance. All right. It also could be that you're turning to a new leaf, going to a new turning point is what I'm seeing here. Focusing on what's keeping you driven. All right. And I also feel like a lot of you guys could be dealing with that sex energy that you're getting ready to make a final decision. Could be dealing with obsessive, toxic behavior that you're making a decision to. You could be dealing with a Capricorn as well. That devil energy here. So, could be dealing with a definite Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. A lot of air here. A lot of fire. Okay. Also, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn for sure. So, everyone's pretty much here. But I'm definitely seeing you making final decisions. Um, just know that this person is going to want to come around the corner once you shut them out or once you make this final decision. Okay. Uh, someone definitely wants to come out of the cold with you and communicate It's the swords, five of pentacles. So you could be utilizing a lot of communication in your overall environment, but someone wants to come out of the cold with you water signs. I'm definitely feeling like it could be someone that you cut off king of swords, somebody that you had to put your foot down. Okay. But you know, people be coming out of the woodworks. When they know they can't get any chances or they're going to try those chances. Okay. So for some of you all, I do see with the Ace of Swords and also with the Seven of Swords, you're trying to plan away from this situation or someone is definitely needing to plan because it could be bringing on a lot of argumentative energy, something that you already know the truth about this person or the truth was already revealed. But uh, I am seeing here, it could have been a lot of argumentation going on between you and this person. Okay. Or whoever it is that you are listening for somebody wasn't trying to hear the bullshit all right especially in the in communicating 
Magician energy here. Ace of Cups coming in reverse. Wow. Once again. So I feel like you guys don't have any love to offer. This person was too tricky. You could have ended this situation. You're healing from it. You're recovering it. Could be a situation that could come to an end become because someone was being dishonest about their motives, okay, or how they were making their moves. So be aware of that. I do feel like with this Captain Sable card here, once again, um, a lot of you guys could be closing yourself off due to a third party situation, but I'm definitely seeing for a lot of you guys, new beginnings are coming. Okay. Someone could be wanting to message you out of the blue. Um, I feel with the Empress energy, someone could be pregnant as well. And also with the Ace of Wands, it could be a definite new beginning. Okay, this could be in their summon arising Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Everything's been coming out. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Okay, uh, but I do feel like this person is definitely wanting to come out of the cold with you, message you, send you some messages. Okay, they're trying to talk to you, baby. Yeah, Knight of Wands, full energy here. Some of you all might just take this opportunity full on, but I definitely feel like you're analyzing uh, what opportunities you do need to take or what priorities you're going to be focusing on. And what new leaps that you might be dealing with. But I do feel like if you guys are dealing with family situations and things of that nature, um, there's definitely uh, something going on that's going to be an equal give and take coming towards you where someone is definitely wanting to bring that equal give and take. Now, for some of you, I'm definitely feeling like there could be an action or some sudden change that's happening with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Okay, it's a lot of water in this little set, honey. So it could be someone who wants to come out of the woodworks, like I said, or they want to sit and change. It's definitely some unknown hidden history that you all have with them. Okay, this person definitely has a lot of dis a lot of different beliefs. But this person wants to get you naked with the lover's energy here, okay? You could be dealing with a Gemini as well. But I'm seeing here for a lot of you guys, they're wanting to come out of the cold with you. So if this person is an ex, hey, whatever the case may be, you already know where you want this to go. Okay, could be some commitment on the horizon, but I feel like someone is drawing towards you or you're drawing some forward movement towards a situation that you already know all that you need to know. Okay, you're going to be getting a, a lot of awareness coming to you. You got the sun energy here, the brightest card in the deck, baby, and also the high priestess, the powerfulest card in the deck is what they say. So I feel like you're going to be calling those shots. Things are going to be extremely clear to you, water signs, in the next couple of days. It's saying pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. So pay attention to that person who might want to pop up. Do those pop-ups. Could be popping up in your text message or whatever the case may be. Also new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. What are signs? Okay. And express your love. Go ahead and make that romantic gesture. So like I said, a lot of you guys could be needing to let go. Okay. Take a, a parent folly with that full energy. And there's some new love that could be coming in. Some of you all could be needing to let go of control issues. All right. Somebody might be trying to control too much. But I'm feeling like your finances and your career is looking absolutely wonderful. You have a lot of principal energy here. It could be some invites that you might get invited to as well. All right, Water Signs, I love you guys. I'm going to get on out of here. If you need to get a personal read for me, make sure you hit that description box. Down below, check out my website, LorelsMoon.com. All right, peace.